documentary. But let's take a look at the Daily Nation now. And it's an interesting story on uh, page six and eight of the Daily Nation exposed politicians lit fires of war in the city. Um, it was rather sad, really, to see um, this story. So on page six, it reads here, the trouble with the Kaangware, ethnic intolerance and bad politics blamed for post poll attacks. And Kaangware was one of the um, you know, angriest places, so to speak, in this election. We had two different camps um, basically attacking each other. And to date, residents of Kaangware live in fear of that imminent attack. But what's interesting is um, a report into what happened in Kaangware has left the police now probing politicians into what may have happened here. Uh, Senator, so I think uh, that is the right thing to do because one thing as Kenyans, uh, we do not have the privilege of choosing who our neighbors are or who, who we interact with at work, in the marketplaces where we reside. So I think we ought to accept the fact that we are a multi-ethnic country. Uh, I will be this tribe, you will be that other tribe, but for purposes of harmony and cohesion, we need to tolerate each other. Tolerance, I think, is one value which we do not have. We have a very little um, patience for tolerance. Uh -huh. It was unfortunate property was destroyed, uh, lives were lost, uh, people have been traumatized. So I think politicians bear the greatest responsibility of preaching peace, preaching harmony. And uh, the institutions which are in law, the NCIC, the police, I think they really need to crack the whip to rein in hard of those politicians who incite violence is unfortunate. The Constitution in Article 38 provides everyone with the right and freedom to make political choices uh -huh. and to align themselves with any political group as it were. Mm. This necessarily does not mean that you have to be at war with your neighbor. We need to respect the opinions and rights of others even as we propagate our own values and opinions. So I think the politicians bear the greatest responsibility because it is from their utterances and actions that the citizens get incited. Uh -huh. And one would wonder if there was some form of organization even in a place like Kaangare. Reason being, these people have lived together in harmony all along. So why all of a sudden would there be uh, this hatred and ethnic clash if it was not sponsored or organized? Uh, which is a conversation that we need to have because if you think about it, I keep saying that sometimes if you walked, for instance, into a restaurant, you don't ask the waiter, uh, what is your second name or who made the food? You know, we seem to live very well until it Politics gets to election started. time, uh -huh. then suddenly everything uh, breaks loose, all hell breaks loose. Oh yes, it's a fact that happens not only out there in the streets. I think political tensions and political intolerance, even on social media, even in our WhatsApp groups, I can tell you instances of where people who have been in the same groups as classmates, as churchmates, people doing the so-called lefting, Mm -hmm. just because of political difference and Correct. intolerance. So political uh, differences ought not to divide people, and I think politicians ought to have the responsibility to calm down their supporters, turn them down, because it is never that serious at the end of the day. We still have a nation to build. Uh, people need to work. People need to, to earn a living. So such issues of uh, attacking your neighbor, because if you attack him today, uh, you are forgetting that uh, tomorrow you may be in need of assistance from this very neighbor that mm. you are attacking. All right.